It is a center for higher learning. It is a place with centuries of secrets in its shadowed halls. This is where you've come to learn the mysteries of the cosmos. Welcome to the Miskatonic University Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the Miskatonic University Podcast, episode 250. This, as you already know, is the podcast dedicated to weird and horrific role-playing games. If I sound super hype, it's because I'm really fucking hype. We were off all of June. Sorry, I'm getting off copy. I'm Keeper Bridget. Yes, you are. And I'm Keeper Dave. <laughs> That's right. 250 episodes. What a long, strange trip it's been. And there's only one man who has survived with his beard intact. Murph, how did you do it? <laughs> I'm going to read Dave's copy as he wrote it, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I am Keeper Murph, and I have survived these long 10 plus years on a steady diet of iced tea, monthly beard groomings, and a vast collection of occult tomes that is sure to collapse on anyone who tries to come and remove me from my hermit cave out here in Nowheresville, Texas. So, yes. 250 episodes. That's actually a really solid copy. In the celebration sure of our is. milestone, <laughs> we have an exciting announcement right around the corner, as well as a number of special guests waiting in the wings. As you know, as Bridget said, we took the month off. So, first, welcome back. I love you both. How are you both? How are we doing? Hi, baby. I'm We're good. Back. I'm good. Yeah, crazy. Uh, I, I've been gone for a month well not gone gone well gone for a good bit yeah. of it um they had the kids the month month of june mm -hmm. is kid month yep when you're a did, divorced did, motherfucker did everybody survive <laughs> when you're a divorced motherfucker pick them up yeah yeah i'm telling you uh yeah i had two out of the three i had three for for all of a weekend but i had two out of the three for the entire month uh of june uh they've all survived no one broke a limb this year that's mm. always exciting that's right. a win. I didn't right. have to call my ex-wife and explain injuries. That's always mm. a win. The house mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. not burn. Mm -hmm. That's a plus. Also a win. I tried to bribe them into reading actual books. That was an mm. all-out fail, and I just bought yeah. the manga. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, mangas. It, it's, a, it's a fair compromise, right? It, well, the deal was that I made with them. You read a chapter book, I will buy you any manga you want. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. And I, and I bought them chapter books that they decided they wanted to read. Okay, that lasted for all of about the conversation that it took to <laughs> talk about it. Blaze but I, did, manga, I just manga. gave up after the first week and yeah. said, look, here's the fucking manga. What else do you want? Yeah. Um, you know, because <laughs> and they read those in like five minutes, man. Done. Yeah, manga's, manga's, manga's fast. That. And, and it, it, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of it, too. Oh, so much, dude. So much. So anyway, we um, did that. My mom's decided to sell the ancestral home up onto the lake uh, and move down into the sticks of the dirtiest armpit where I grew up of Texas uh, in order to be near my sister because she doesn't want to live armpit. <laughs> where, uh, where my dad died, basically. And so, uh, yeah, she's selling the house is basically what it comes down to. So it's up on the market. Somebody's looking for lakefront property. Uh, that's why you sent that to us. I was like, I don't understand. Yeah. I was like, I don't. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's, that, that was it. <laughs> it's a gorgeous uh, property, by the way. It is really is. It's quite nice. Uh, I got five on it. You got five on it. <laughs> I, I've sold, I've sold one of the boats and dad's old Willis Jeep and made a tidy little sum off of that. Oh, yeah, but right. I'm Money. still, still trying to sell the house. So that's, that was a thing, um, you know, that, that was part of the, the month but yeah you know, all in all uh do really, really well really well bridget how was your month uh june met me halfway and then dragged mm -hmm. me the rest of the way uh <laughs> on a 2022 positive, oh god yeah 2022 around off to everything um up until like i don't know march of 2020 so uh big highlights i had origins game fair this year mm. uh which was great it was back do? on its semi-normal schedule how'd your voice do Oh my goodness. Well, let me tell you, the voice did phenomenal because I put up some really aggressive boundaries. I mean, like literally out the gate. Like one of my rules was I will not arrive to this convention prior to 9 a.m. And by 7.30 mm -hmm. p.m. I'm walking out the front fucking door. And did you do it? And I did it. I stuck the landing every day wow. except for one. I got caught in the hallway talking to somebody until eight, but I was still out yeah. the door. I didn't play in any events. Oh. I wasn't doing that bullshit where I'm like 
running games wow. and playing games until one o'clock in the morning, driving home, like absolutely lethargic and exhaustion drunk, and then trying to be back at the convention center at eight o'clock in the morning. You're not, you're not that doing shit. that at Necronomicon though, right? You're, you're hanging out and getting drunk and, <laughs> yeah, you're and st- we're playing games and shit, right? Oh, wow. Hi, Mike Diamond. Jesus. <laughs> He's riding my dick about my schedule at Necronomicon too. <laughs> I'm just telling you, Necronomicon's a blast, and you're not going to want to have a hotel room and, and you don't have to drive home. Exactly, oh <laughs> you're within walk distance, babe. There's no car driving. <laughs> Fuck that shit. We're all real close. Yeah, don't tell I will my do wife my this. Best to meet you guys halfway. <laughs> don't tell my wife this because my whole thing is she's like, you're always coming back from all these conventions, so super exhausted. And I'm like, that's mm-hmm. well, that's what we do. That's what we're doing. That's the way. And she's like, really? I was like, everybody does that. And then nope, suddenly Bridget's nope, like, nope. no, I got boundaries. No, I have boundaries. Nope. No, nope. I, it's not going to swing in my house. Not gonna gonna after swing. the yeah. collapse of last year, I made a list of everything that went fucking wrong. I mean, down to simple shit. Like if the convention center is two miles across, like one of my unpacking moments was like, choose a parking garage closest nope. to where your last event is. So you Ain't don't have worry. to walk two miles. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta worry about that shit in Providence. I'm telling you now, <sighs> it's all right there. The farthest we'll have to walk is when we want to go get lunch or dinner somewhere else. Uh, and even then, we're looking at maybe two, three blocks. Everything in downtown Providence is really fucking close. It's everything you need is right there. If you want lunch, you just walk out to the park in front of the hotels, and there's food trucks lying in the street because it's also where the state capitol is, right next door to the hotel. So I mean, oh like, nice, everything's right there. Don't have to go drive anywhere. The furthest we'll have to drive is at the end of the convention. We'll have to go to the FedEx shipping store, which is a little ways away, <laughs> further than we're going to want to walk. But outside of that, we will not ship be our stuff home. Is that what you mean? Our, yes, to ship our shit home. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh god! We won't be walking. Or we won't the be Uber driving to anyway. FedEx. Anybody want to go on the FedEx run with me? Oh, listen, we've already planned it. Like me and Mike Diamond and some others are like, yeah, okay. So we got to make room on Sunday at some point to mail the shit home. I might do the two, two suitcase thing. Bring bring the smaller suitcase inside the big suitcase. Except for they charge so much now. I'm taking the train. They stay oh, yeah, yep, you oh, are you're on the train. train. Yeah. That's right. Unlike yeah. me, whose flight has been moved like eight times now. Hopefully I get to Providence. Yeah. You know, in thinking about your last year at Origins, though, I, I remember, I could be wrong, but I remember that part of the challenge was you were gaming in your mask, like the mask yeah. yelling thing. And I, I did it as well. I've done it as well. It's, it's, it's pretty rough, right? It is tough. It is tough. It helps, again, boundaries. Mm. I didn't run four events to get a badge. I said, fuck yeah, it, I'll exactly. just pay for my badge. I'm going to exactly. run two events because that's what I feel don't, comfortable doing. And I'm not going to sign up for any events. I played one pickup game, but my voice was, I was able to carry it more because I didn't hyperextend it. Yeah. So good. Origins was good. I had a great Origins. That was a lot of fun. Worked the Chaos and Booth. That was just, it's always fun just touching people, connecting with people, and especially um, talking to the new people that are just now coming into the hobby. Mm. And like, they've got the doe eyed, super excited. Where do I start? I just absolutely love talking to those people. Um, other major positive things, huge win. I haven't told you guys this, like individually on the host chat. Um, Mom, so stage four, small cell lung cancer. She had it in her liver, lungs, and brain. The radiation was successful. She just had a recent MRI and the doctor told her that she is completely cancer free in the brain, oh, which wow. is amazing. Fuck yeah. me. Super amazing. Yeah. Um, she gets a CAT scan and blood. She gets blood work done like literally every week and she gets a CAT scan. I think every three weeks, the last CAT scan came back. The masses on her lungs are completely gone and she's just got a speck of one left on her liver. So she is doing significantly better this heifer is like getting into the car and taking herself to the casino and using a gps and she takes herself to get her nails done and eyebrows done and she's talking shit and having a good time and she's like reclaiming a lot of her independence which is huge because we basically locked her in a bubble during the pandemic and as soon as the pandemic was uh semi-safe to come outside well then she got knocked in the face with pancreatitis and small cell (laughs) lung cancer so (laughs) after like three years she's finally like ha ha I shall go to bingo myself. <laughs> yeah, <right>? Please, Louise. <laughs> that's okay. fantastic news. Yes. That's one really awesome. Yes. Yeah, so that's huge. I'm super proud of her. She's a uh, she's a damn trooper. And for anybody who's fighting cancer, one, fuck cancer. And two, okay, you are one of the bra- bravest people I know because what she's gone through, um, no human being should. And last, the major negative thing is I've had an ear infection for the past <sighs> two months. What that the shit fuck? has sucked. 
It is sucked. It is sucked. It is sucked. It is sucked. I'm going to ask a stupid um, question. You've gone to a doctor, right? Yeah. I've gone to urgent care twice. I've gone to my family doctor and I have a referral out to an ENT as we speak. The ear infection is so bad that they cannot tell whether it is fungal or bacterial. So they have me on both antifungals <laughs> and antibiotics. Um, that's to my right ear. And now my left ear is, uh, the eardrum is retracted. So sitting in headphones and recording into an actual place has been painful as fuck. Um, it has sapped a lot of my energy and a lot of my motivation because when you're in pain, your window of tolerance is super low. So that has mm. been hard. And I have been an asshole to some people <laughs> that are really close to me because again, my window of tolerance has been really low because I've been in pain. So, uh, on the other side of this ear infection, I will be making, uh, some rounds of apologies <laughs> because I have been, a, apologies. Right. you're going to get an apology <laughs> because I know for a fact, I have been coming at people who love me on some just, I'm in pain and I hate absolutely everything and everyone and you're close to me. So I'm going to go after you because I'm an asshole. So we're getting better. <laughs> we know there's a mistake. We're just <laughs> mistakes were made. I acknowledge it and I see it. Uh, but overall, things are going well. I'm relieved about my mom. That's a huge stress uh, mm -hmm. off me. I'm excited about Necronomicon and I'm super frustrated with America for all of the reasons that I won't get into right now. Oh, but one no, of them I will get into is fucking healthcare. Why don't we have universal healthcare? Yeah. That's a whole different podcast, but we'll talk yeah. about that later. Dave, how's your June been? <laughs> right. Um, let's see here. I went to Switzerland. Yeah, the fuck I, you I, did. I, God, I, those I pictures. Know. Those looked crazy. like they were photoshopped. They were so fucking pretty. It was ridiculous. Yeah, uh, that was just to spend a day up in the mountains of Switzerland. We just we went and we took a little trolley that goes up the hill and you know, seven six thousand feet, something like that. Oh. Yeah, well, it was fun. And then on the last day, we, I was I worked most of the time, as most did, as did most of my coworkers. I went with work, took a day up in the mountains, and then on my birthday. I got to go, I was in Zurich and I got to spend, uh, most of the, I get to spend the morning and early afternoon kind of spelunking around old town. And I got to go to the museum there, the, the main museum. I got to see Van Gogh and Picasso and Cezanne and Monet, um, amongst, uh, I guess I saw Warhol, I, just some great, great art. Um, I'm a huge fan of art museums. I love to go to art museums and it, it kind of struck me as like oh I, that's how i want to spend the rest of my life is is going around and and go to art museums around the world like i've never i didn't think like oh i'll go to zurich and see an art museum and i was like oh damn suddenly that's where i was so that was amazing great trip came home um and then the last two weeks uh, my, my family left me alone there they come home tomorrow but they i've been home alone for two weeks which is bonkers um and the thing that i've accomplished I just finished today uh, the rough, shitty first draft of uh, the best scenario that I've ever written, uh, and oh, I clocked in, clocking in into like twenty five thousand words, so uh, nothing to shake Dave. a stick at. And I wrote ten thousand words in in June. That was that was what I needed to do. Oh, fantastic! And, and so this Dave. is for my this is for my modern book, my modern Call of Cthulhu book. So had some had some conversations with my editors and um we're all everyone's on the same page as far as delivery dates and and schedules you would probably see that if all goes well no promises but a, a crowdfunding for that in uh q1 of 2023 so uh, on track back fully on track and just kind of finish that today and and i was able to really get into the groove and, and get some flow and and a couple days i nailed like 12 1300 words um and uh so I just did that today, finished that up. So it was pretty stoked. Well, congratulations, man. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah big congratulations, baby. I still got another uh, 12, 15,000 words to, to finish. Uh, I got like two months to do that, which seems like, okay, I can do that. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited. This is that project that I've been working on, um, the advocacy. So um, right. ha a good handful of most of my playtesters are here from this community, and they were just awesome. And uh, so if you were a playtester with that, thank you, because like, progress has been i'm hitting the mark um and it's because of um some great great play testers i had so i'll keep you updated as the summer rounds up because that I, i'm hoping to be done um soon after necro so that's me that's june fantastic man good job man dave i'm proud of you baby way to kick ass honey and yeah, it's so man. hard to be creative with everything going on right now and you still manage your bravo Jeez, baby Louise. ain't that the truth yeah right for sure so without podcasting to keep me busy you know where i've been where tell us where tell us our discord server you have it. You ain't been there in a damn month i know that's what i was about to say i didn't write this copy because <laughs> that's a lie and a half june came and i cut off everything 
and good for you. Boundaries are healthy. Yeah, for real. You poked your head in once or twice. You haven't I did, really I poked been. my head but... once and twice, and I was like, holy shit, I have 5,000 missed messages on this <laughs> So yeah, the Discord server. <laughs> my my stepson, my former stepson, uh, came over to the lake and went swim with his fiance, and we were all up there with all my kids and everything. And he saw my phone, and he saw all the Discord notifications on my phone, and he was like, "God damn, what are you like a Discord mod?" And it's like, yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I am. Yep, that's accurate. Nice. Yeah. So come on by. We've got a Discord server. Um, and if it's not June, then all of us are there. I think Bridget and I were, were there for most of June. Yeah, okay. but it really didn't feel the same without Murph or recordings. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. Quiet around yep. these bots. Oh, that's my new accent. I've been, I just finished watching, I just finished watching uh, Bonnie and Clyde. I got my, uh, oh God, my, my Texas accent come around these bots. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not a Texas accent. No, well, it's now. It is now. <laughs> That's like that's like New England. My Mid Atlantic accent. He said what he said, Murph. He said what he said. Anyway, mm-hmm. there's a link to the show in the show notes to the Discord server. Uh, Murph, as thank you as always for editing this show. You are a beautiful person. Thank you, Murph. You're welcome. <laughs> Bridget's pet pick shout out of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you even sound like me. Oh right? God! <laughs> I did not say right. That was him saying right. You think you sound like a hyena? That's, that hyena sounds just like me. Oh my God! And for this week's or this episode's pet pick shout out, we are going to give a shout out to the cat that thinks he's a better podcaster than you are. The cat's probably a better podcaster than we are too. Shout out to Cooper, cat of um, is John a backer? John H. John yeah. Hernza, uh, John is yeah. the, uh, he is a backer. Right? Yeah. Big shout out to the cat Cooper, cat of John H. All right. Are we doing? Recent oh, we are doing gaming. Recent, <laughs> recent <laughs> gaming. Uh, recent gaming, I. What, what you been playing, Mark? Enthusiasm <laughs> was so good. Oh my God. Enthusiasm was so good. So good. Mm, I've missed that bumper. <laughs> I really have. That's so good. Yeah, recent gaming. Guess what, guys? Uh, we we made a shirt out of it. I played the apps fucking lootly nothing. Uh, the RPG, nothing. Did not play a game at all uh, this last month. I you hardly read. read. I, I even I didn't even read much this last month. I only read like two books, maybe three books this last month, which is wow for me. That's that's a slowdown, man. I'm just saying. Uh, one of them was a big bastard of a book that was super, super slow. I read Drood by Dan Simmons, which is about the last couple of years of, of Charles Dickens's uh, life. Uh, it was really good and interesting, but man, it was slow as shit. Mm. But it was good for that time period. One, one page for, per day sort oh of thing? Oh my God, dude. It was so slow. It was so dense and so slow. Uh, really, really good. But man, it was... Uh, it was not quick, but that's, uh, that was about the extent of my, uh, <laughs> my gaming. I didn't really do anything else. Played Farkle. Does that count? Farkle? Farkle, Farkle. with the kids. It's like a tile playing uh, game. Some, right? kind of, some kind of weird dice game uh, oh, yeah. uh, in the Yahtzee family, I guess. Oh, okay. Farkle. Actually, I've played Farkle. I think my niece has owned Farkle. It's fun. It's a fun little game. You know, you, you roll a bunch of dice. Uh, six siders. But I might be making that shit up. I'll have to ask. That was as close to the gaming as I got. How about you, Bridget? Um, shit. June. There were there there were games at Origins. Um, June. Um, I should have prepared. Is your stuff in the show notes? No, real. No, that's why I'm struggling. What the fuck did I do in June? No, that's why I was wondering. I thought we did show notes. (laughs) 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 A A little bit of shade. Oh, the shade is so good. We're podcasters. We're, we've definitely been podcasting. Okay, June. There was Origins. There were games there, and it was great. Um, I did pick up uh, back with Chaosium's RuneQuest stream, uh, A New Hero. So that is airing live on Twitch on Mondays. And I, I, I don't want to genre jump because horror is my happy place, but I am really enjoying the shit out of the RuneQuest mechanics mm. and lore. I really am. The more I play mm. it, the more I dive in, the more I embrace it the more i'm like i want to start running mm. rune quests and playing more regularly pick me pick me pick me pick me pick me yeah I yeah, yeah. i got the you. starter set and i did get the core rule book i picked up at origin so that is probably coming down the pipeline because i am genuinely just that 
freaking impressed with the, the mechanics are just so narrative based and that is literally like my style of role playing cool uh outside of that uh a, a bunch of really fun shit that i probably can't remember fair enough Dave? You, d- you deleted my show notes they were really funny and you just deleted them like i didn't spend at least two minutes working on them uh those at least two minutes working on them yeah i mean the only thing it, i the only thing i deleted was mine yeah it's funny you I've didn't reached, read it. Oh, oh! You were actually. I reached the third level. Dream advocate. My own going solo campaign of absolutely nothing. The RPG. <laughs> that's that's what I've done. I didn't read it at all. I just knew no, that no, <laughs> I didn't write it, so people, I deleted that people, shit. This is what, this is the sort of place where it's like you go when you do hard work, and then everyone just kind of stomps all over your your work. And you I know. don't know that I. If I had to think about it though, third level dream advocate, right? I really think I've surpassed that. Okay. Um. I think I'm, I'm maybe like, you had to go back in the tech tree and pick up a couple culture. Yeah, boosts. Maybe so. Maybe so. Is there a tech tree? <laughs> is there a tech tree? I don't think there's a tech tree in this game. <laughs> I think really it's don't. all tech tree. It's all where you can find uh fuzz in your navel. <laughs> there's a lot of that. There was a Whoa. lot of Whoa. A lot of there's fuzz a scenario the title waiting to happen. Fuzz right? in your navel. Actually, that should be the ep- let me write that shit down. That is now the episode title. I'm oh, kidding. Shit. Nice. Okay. All right. Episode two fifty, fuzz in your navel. Actually, no, that shit is good. Let me write that down somewhere. I don't know that we can call At it. At least that would be the starter set for absolutely the not- the real problem. <laughs> That's the expansion number one. Expansion. Fuzzy, or the first the first scenario. The f- yeah, is that exactly. Yeah, the starter kit. Fuzzy yeah, in your yeah. navel. Fuzzy All right, I wrote it down so y'all can't make fun of me for not remembering it next week. I did write it down. Fair enough. Nice. Uh, yeah, we played Bookhounds for the first time in like three months. That's um, nice. Babe, so that how was, was it? It was good. It, you know, that last game was kind of a train wreck. Um, so we... We just spent some time um, doing something fun with my players and playing offline uh, out of out of game session a bit. Um, you and I did this a little bit um, doing it. We did a lot. I did a lot with um, Adam and James um, with their characters. We did a whole back narrative with Erasmus and Maria and then uh, with Owen and the char- his character. We kind of did that. And then I'm even going to do it this next session with <clears throat> with Claire. But in discord doing play by posts on discord and then being able to with some more elaborate plotting being able to like do that as stuff you know that's happening outside of the main narrative and so that when the main narrative comes back together when we're all playing together it's like oh there's this other stuff that happened and it comes out extemporaneously so it's like what ha- you know here come erasmus maria they've been gone for two weeks what happened to you guys and they <laughs> they've got all these stories and it's not just someone will be make up, you know, improv on the on the spot, but they've actually had these stories that are outside of the main narrative. Same thing with with Owen's character, who had yet another <laughs> had another crisis and breakdown. It's like, oh, he's had some stuff going on off camera so that when he comes in and he's so crazy, there's there's actually sort of like meat on the bone. Um, so that was great. Great players. That game is great. Played a one shot uh, Cthulhu Dark Ages with Zoe and a couple of other folks. That was fun. Was that the one I accidentally popped in on? That was the one you accidentally popped in on. Yeah, it's fun. I you play, accidentally I stumbled into a game? That's awesome. I saw a bunch of people in one of the chats, uh, voice chats, so I popped yeah. in. It's like, I'm, I'm nosy, I'm going. On my way yeah. to a funeral, I dropped yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, you were on a funeral. <laughs> You're like, nah, this is more interesting than the funeral. <laughs> that's, that's, Wait, that's, that's not what? an exaggeration. <laughs> I know. That's what he said. What? Oh, oh, God, jeez. Yeah, I was all dressed up. I had nice, had jeans on. He was wearing pants. I I was all dressed up. I had jeans on. (laughs) My shoes on. Texas suit, right? You had Uh, had jeans, a cowboy boat, cowboy boots, and a hat. Listen, it was the closest Murph is going to get without without a cowboy hat. What the fuck? What? (laughs) Oh no. Do I wear a cowboy hat? Yeah, because you're from Texas. Oh my God. I, I had not. jeans on and fuzz in my navel. I have <laughs> missed you guys so much. <laughs> and then we've been playing, we've, we finished our second out of four uh, Vazen sessions. So mm, how is we'll that? talk about this very, very soon. But oh, okay. uh, I've been running Vazen for our Patreon backers. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. So, um, yeah, so we, we we had a session zero uh, last week, two weeks, week and a half ago, and got jumped into a mystery. And then last week, we almost got to the end of it, um, something that I kind of spun up. 
and then we'll finish that next session and hopefully we'll, we'll I'll do one of the other ones from the main from the the scenario book um loving it I, Scandinavia is, I went to Switzerland and and that was I mean it was Western Europe's I can do Western Europe but like Scandinavia I haven't been to Scandinavia before um so um it's a bit of a stretch for me like just like being able to visualize it and set the tone, you know, 1870s gothic horror uh, is really, really cool. But it's it's the same challenge I had when I was running a, a gaslight campaign. It just it's just not as natural. So it's good for me to 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 work on it. The mechanics are great. Love the Year Zero engine. We're overall, I think we're having a great time. The last session uh, we did, we we had a really, really good time. I love the. I love running a horror game or playing in a horror game with just a keeper and two players. That's, that's some intense stuff, right? You can really move the narrative along and really, really get into it. So good stuff. Got two more sessions. So if you're a backer and we'll talk about this in just a couple minutes, if you're a Patreon backer of ours, you can come and game with us. Uh, that's right. We, we have a Patreon and you can back us <laughs> by clicking on the button in the sidebar of our website, which is mu-podcast.com or head directly over to Patreon at www.patreon.com slash MUP. Most importantly, though, after some butt kicking by Bridget, we are formally announcing that our new Patreon tiers have arrived. And frankly, we've really just been living on the good graces of our supporters uh, who have been wonderful enough to uh, just flat out support us when uh, there's been a distinct lack of difference between all of the tiers. And so we're actually solving that as of today or yes. today, as in when you today, hear to, today the when the episode lands. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we, do. we, <laughs> we spent some good time on those tiers. So first up, there are no changes. So impact, there are no changes to the tier names or their cost. So if you are a backer, the tiers names stay the same and their costs stay the same. Yep. Great. However, now each tier will come with specific benefits that we are going to outline now. Ta-da! And of course, Ta-da! they'll be on, the, on Patreon. And for each of the tiers, you, of course, you will get everything that's in the previous tier. So as they go up from freshman to, to professors, Professor. faculty, mm-hmm. yeah, um, you know, you'll get the previous tiers, previous tiers as well. Excited. Yep. So starting us off, we're at freshmen's, which is a dollar. And this is very similar to what you guys remember uh, from the, 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 the previous thing. So at a dollar, you get one, our sincerest thanks. Thank you. Even a dollar goes a really long way. If that's what you can afford and that's what you want to gift us. We love your face. Good looking out. Thank you. So at a freshman, a dollar, you get a shout out and a thank you on the show, which is pretty standard. Uh, you'll have access to our exclusive backer only discord channels. Yes. Those channels do exist. <laughs> Uh, and you'll also be notified um, about any type of special guest appearance ahead of time so you can send us your questions. So kind of like when we had, um, let me throw out a sexy name, when we had uh, Andrew Gasco on the show, you know, we sent out an all call. Do you have any questions? Uh, we'll read your questions, um, time permitting, to the guest with your name, and you can get that um, those questions submitted ahead of time. Freshmen's also, I know it's a really sexy, thick tier, right? Freshmen are thick. We should probably cut freshmen so thick out or leave it in. I don't care. We haven't podcasted in a month. <laughs> uh, backers also can sit in in Dave's Trail of Cthulhu campaign book house of San Francisco, which he just. <laughs> freshmen are thick? <laughs> what the fuck? That's the name of the episode. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> I'm writing it right under something about fuzzy navels. Oh right, episode God. title. Episode title. I'm writing a name right now. We just have a list, a running list, everyone, of, of possible Freshmen title names. Are thick, and we're going to spell thick correctly, which is T H I C C C. Nice. Hey, I'm an old man, and I know how to spell it. Look at that. Right. Hey, I said to my daughter, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm going to say it on the air. I told my daughter, she said something the other day, and I was like, hashtag facts. And yes. She goes, she, goes, she shakes her head. She's like, you don't ever say that ever again. I was like, no. No, my friend Bridget is a millennial, and she and I say it for her, and she says I can say it. She said I can say so, it. Nah. So, and she just was like, she was so disappointed in me. I, uh, <laughs> she just like shake her I, head and just wandered off. I had a similar interaction with my oldest daughter, who's turning eighteen on on this coming week, actually in four Ooh, days. Happy four early days birthday to her. Happy um, birthday, birthday. She, she was over at the house and she showed me a picture of her doing something with her friends and being a joke. 
I pointed at one of her friends and said, oh, she's thick. And she got so pissed off. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> It was really funny, though. But, you know, I wasn't being creepy. I was just trying to get a laugh out of her. And it oh, worked, but it was God. like, don't ever say that again, Dad, kind of situation. <laughs> well, you so know, I don't know the same you vibe millennial- there. Yeah. Yeah. You've got millennial pr- uh, permission, just like Dave, to say nice. hashtag facts that apparently freshmen are thick. Uh, and also <laughs> in the freshmen are thick dollar category, you get access to contests. <laughs> nice. I- I'm finished with freshmen. All right. <laughs> Sophomore, $2. We're going to have these pop up events, last minute pickup games, special events. We'll be developing a list and publishing those. Uh, uh, try to try to be regular. Of course, these are pop-up events and last minute uh-huh. pickup games. So this is where you'll start to see this flow into one of our latest games or latest later tiers where we talked about um host host hosted games. Host host events. Yeah. Yeah. yeah host yeah, yeah. hosted games. I'm blue now. Oh shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go. I got to get no, us no, back no, on no, track. No, 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 no. I got it. Uh, okay. The next tier is $5 <laughs> juniors. Uh, oh, you'll be able to, podcasters. you're invited to the exclusive watch parties and movie, movie nights that we are uh, we have dreamt of uh, with what? one of the hosts. Ooh, st- yeah. Tell us more. Mm, watch parties and movie nights. Tell us more. Uh, that's that new, new there, guys. You can grab your popcorn, kick back, and hang out with the host for a movie night. So we're going to host these quarterly. Yeah. Four times a year. Four times a year, mainly Four because year. scheduling is a mother and, yep. uh, you know, that's it. I just watched last night. I just watched The Northman. I would totally watch that again. I would totally. Dude, the Northman is night. really good. That's so not what you think it is going in. Oh, it's so good. It's really Ooh, good. Let me write that down. Okay. I'll check out The Northman. And it I mean, no, no, you can't check it out. You got to do it a movie night. Oh, well, I'll do it a movie night. Okay. okay. Apparently that'll be my shit. first movie night is the, the Northman. Got it. <laughs> Uh, at senior, which is going to be ten dollars, um, you will have your host GM'd game. So that's when we have scheduled games in advance, uh, very similar to Dave's Vasing game. Or if I pop in and say, "Hey guys, for the month of August, I'm going to be taking players for this," blah blah blah. Um, this will also unlock those team up recordings that we have with the Old Ways podcast. Mm, and wow. oh my god, guys, we just recorded. Uh, we finished up recording a custom alien game where you guys actually voted for the baddies, oh, the right. setting and the characters. You just finished that, right? Oh yeah. We just finished that. I should have put that in recent gaming, but here we are now guys, your choices broke the table and the most <laughs> heartbreaking. I, I totally voted hard on that one. I was, you, I was one of the voters. Oh I totally voted God. hard on that. I really want to hear that one. Cause I, yeah. I it happened in June. So I didn't participate, Ooh. but no, I wasn't there either. Guys, that damn game, that that table rocked my world. Uh, this will also unlock bonus episodes. So think back to like uh, the Heinrichs uh, character oh, creation yeah. guide, like those little one-offs that we might do. So all yeah. of that is in the senior tier, which is a lot of really amazing content um, for the price. And again, those hosted games are going to be running monthly. We will have them pre-scheduled a year in advance because... If you can't hear that, that's the sound of me brushing dirt off my shoulders. We are going to be organized in this one. Right. You wrote that. I, I, I damn sure did. And that's why I'm sticking her, to it. We can hold her accountable to that. But that's right. okay. I, hey, I, you know, I just ran I just ran four sessions on, in June and July, four yeah. two sessions each for uh, backers. And we ran Vazen and we're having a blast. We've got two more sessions here in July. So that's the sort of thing you can come along and, and we'll do a better job of posting to, um, I know not all of our backers are on Discord. And Correct. so we will be doing more active for all of this. We'll be doing way more actively posting into Patreon itself, more surveys, more posts. So if you're not on Discord and you're a backer, we, we, we still love you. I'm sorry if it sometimes feels like we're ignoring you. Um, but we'll try to in- engage more via Patreon um, and get you correct as well. We'll do better because at the end of the day, if you're not on Discord, we can find other ways to get you into games, whether that's Google Hangout or Skype or Zoom. We, Dave already said it. I won't repeat it. We we can do better about you guys not on Discord. So our apologies in advance. And also at the senior level, we're rolling out postcards. What? You can receive unique annual postcards from your host that will be handwritten and just as reckless in print as we are on the air. <laughs> Hashtag facts. <laughs> That's the truth. Did I do it right? I think I did it right. I think you did it. Oh, you did it. You did it right. Oh, nice. I, I'm just imagining sending out a postcard where like the 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 header is like freshmen are thick. 
and then like never mind let me just let me just whoop we won't be but so reckless on the postcards. We understand y'all maybe got not, Maybe not that reckless. <laughs> I'll have to, we'll have to put it in a damn envelope if we do that. Yeah, exactly. Right. I can't, we can't I afford that I was literally shit. just thinking the same thing. I'm like, <laughs> postcard. Can I go in an envelope? Could you imagine? Honey, who are these <laughs> Niskatonic people? And why? You have a freshman daughter. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, like, I can only imagine. Um, <sighs> So up from the senior level is the graduates. This is $15 and up. Uh, at this level, you receive a PDF copy of a limited edition playable content from your host. So what? this is like a, so pamphlet, sexy. a pamphlet adventure, uh, a system agnostic scenario, uh, anything like that. And we'll put these out uh, three of these per year at least. That's one per each of us. We, one we're committing one of us, of us. Each of us is committing to one a year. So that's yep. right. one, two, that's three. That's doable. Yeah. That's doable. There may be more. Yeah. But there won't be less. But there won't and be less. We'll give you those three. And the idea is that the graduates get them as part of their backing. And then yep. they become, uh, they will go to something like Itch and or drive through, So the other folks can right. find them, but they'll have to pay for them. They'll have to pay for Correct. them. Correct. And the first one is is almost completed. It's going to be a Death what? in Space That's pamphlet awful. scenario that I've done. It's so uh, sexy too, guys. our own listener and backer, Zach, is uh, laying it out for me. And so hopefully we'll have that done in time for this launch so when this drops that will be in what? uh graduate hands and on probably itch humble brag look at you yo that's how that's how you roll new shit out murph that's the shit yeah. i'm talking about that's how you roll new shit out yes you can't see me but i'm dancing yeah you are do you have rhythm i'm just curious no not at all i'm a white guy oh, i don't either great good for us <laughs> and finally Last but by no means least, professors at $20, you, yes, you, dear listener, check this out. This is it. This is the top tier, baby. You will be invited to join us on air. What? Wait, say it again, say it again, say it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, dear listener, the listeners themselves that are backing at $20 or more a month will be invited to join us oh. on air. Once a year, we will invite professor level backers to join the show and they choose their own topic. They get to come on and 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 be, and be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> if you think we sound good edited. Yeah. <laughs> right? You really you have even no get to, idea. You can even get to make fun of Murph on air. How about that? Mm, it's yeah. a rite of passage. That? How about it that? Is. <laughs> Murph bites back though when he's not editing. I'm just saying. There's no editor to hold me back. I say some right? fucked up shit sometimes. Not, <laughs> not really. I don't actually. Okay, wait, Dave, 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 Dave. So yes. at 20, at the professor's level, you get invited onto the show mm. and you get to choose your own topic. So if mm. you want to come on and rep your shit, you can do that. Yeah. If you want to come in and talk about your previous con experience, you can do that. Mm-hmm. You want to ask us questions? You want to just sit down with us and grill us? Oh, like an AMA? Yeah, sort of thing, yeah. Can you, can you imagine having your own episode AMA, right? This is dope. What a great way to actually kind of yeah, like up yourself and have a good time and actually be on air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a dope tier. I like professors. Okay. So that's it. Those, those are our tiers. Yeah, yeah. And guys, like literally our backers, we're, there's... You guys are so incredibly important to us. Like literally, uh, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be able to push forward. And we really, really, really want to make one a crystal clear commitment to you because our tears have been uh, the butt of jokes for I don't know how long. Since I made them originally years ago, <laughs> I think. We are committing to do better. And what it is, time evolves, people evolve. Like, listen, we are where we are. We're doing better going forward. These new tiers will hopefully immediately help you feel more connected to us. Um, and to let you know that your contributions are like, you know, not only rewarded, but appreciated. And like, we see you and we love you. So speaking of our amazing backers, let us give a new backer shout out to Ash the villain. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy those new tears. Yeah. She, she wrote a really nice note to you too. Yeah. Which was super sweet. Like, and it came to me on a day that I really needed some positivity. So thank you. Yeah. It was a good day. That was a super sweet message as well, by the oh way. Oh my God. Yeah. Good people make the world go round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hashtag facts. Hashtag no, I mean, facts. I, can, I, guess. I just used it like a minute ago, though. You don't overuse it, man. I've not used it once. That's the first time I've ever said that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> not even joking.
it rolled out so naturally to me. Mm, didn't it? Ah, but I done done. Sorry. <laughs> I almost did it again just to piss I off. I missed thing. us. Oh my god. Okay. Settle down now, class. It's time for your next lesson. Uh, so, as you know, MUP is nothing without our community, and in celebration of our anniversary, in case you didn't realize that you're listening to episode 250, this is also our 10th year in production as of, like, last April, Incredible. which is nuts. Incredible. Fucking crazy, man. We reached out to a, uh, a bunch of amazing people uh, who hopefully everyone here knows in the community, and um, I got some stuff. And I'm going to play it because it's really cool. Um, yeah. Guys, this is the first time that Dave and I are actually hearing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I edited it up so that it's all together. So you can you can just say what you want uh, as, you're, as you hear it, I guess. Hi, this is Chris McDowell, designer of Into the Odd and Electric Bastion Land. Congratulations to the Miskatonic University podcast for 250 episodes and over 10 years of podcasting. Now, I really didn't expect a bunch of Call of Cthulhu characters to survive this long, but here we are. <laughs> nice. So here's to beating the odds and another decade of horror and strangeness. We need more of him on... For on. real. More into His the voice odds. is amazing. Hey, Miskatonic University Podcast. This is Christopher Smith Adair, and I nice. want to congratulate you on making it to this milestone. I hope it's just one of many more to come, and I can't wait to listen to more episodes. Thanks a lot. Take care. Aww. I just got, I need to get Cult of Cthulhu in hardback. Hey guys, this is Julian Simpson wishing you <gasps> a happy 10th anniversary and a happy 250th episode. 250 episodes is huge. Um, congratulations, and here's to many more. Love, Julian. Hello, hello to all the Miskatonic University podcast listeners out there. This is Helen, TTRPG Sensitivity Consultant and Editor. You may have heard me on this show before a couple of times, so um, I'm just dropping by to say happy 250th episode and 10-year anniversary to the folks behind the Miskatonic University podcast, and thank you for having me on a couple of times. Congratulations on your buy one get one free achievement <laughs> and here's to another 250 episodes in 10 years uh, or perhaps even more nice see you around and have a lovely time i fucking love helen so much oh my gosh hey there congratulations uh, miskatonic university podcast on reaching your 250th episode oscar this is oscar rios from <gasps> golden goblin press uh hope to see you guys soon at necronomicon uh, enjoy the moment guys thanks oscar nice thanks oscar hi there paul fricker here hey. congratulations on reaching 10 years and 250 miskatonic university podcasts This is Becky Anderson from Black Armada Games, just swinging by to say massive congratulations to you, Miskatonic University, for your podiversary! Hurrah! I love Becky. Podiversary. She's so awesome. <laughs> Hello, this is Scott Dorwood, <gasps> and I would like to congratulate our good friends at the Miskatonic University podcast for reaching the milestone of 250 episodes. 250. Who would have thought that humanity would have survived until this momentous occasion? Let us all hope that you manage to release another 250 before the prophesied end comes and the great old ones rise to consume us all. Some tough oh, God, That's, crazy, God. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, this is Cody Goodfellow, Grand Hierophant of the Esoteric Order of Dagon, San Pedro, and Portland Chapters, wishing a hearty congratulations to Miskatonic <laughs> University Pods on their 250 wins in 10 years. That's a fantastic and logistically impossible record, but here's to 250 <laughs> more. Go Fighting Pseudopods! <laughs> 
podcast. Pseudopods. Uh, Pseudopods. <laughs> nice. That's great. Hello, this is Mike Mason. <gasps> 250 episodes of the Miskatonic University podcast. Really? Wow. <laughs> well done, everyone. Keep it up and keep going. See you when the stars go right. Mike. Thanks, Mike. Need to get him back on the show. Yeah, we do. I, uh, in fact, hopefully we can schedule him soon uh, to mm. come back on the show this fall. Good, he's amazing. That's we awesome. Him, we need to have him back. I, we, he and I were talking about uh, gaming, like getting him in a game. Oh, that'd be amazing, right? I want to have him run some Dreamlands? Yeah, for real, right? Right. Um, Good shit. Yes. Okay. We. I, I did. So that would be something the... would go into Patreon tier. Oh, uh-huh. for sure. Right. I thought that was cool. That's for you guys mainly. I know these people and they're all really good friends and they're amazing people. And I'm just really, really happy that, um, that, you know, they were able to, to show some of the love that I'm sure that some of the listeners have for you guys, especially, um, you know, y'all are awesome. We have, uh, I've got some, <laughs> some missives from previous hosts as well. Oh, um, this first one is from um keeper john John. and i i'm just gonna play it wow 10 years and 250 episodes of the miskatonic university podcast man you guys are going strong i absolutely love mup I have so many years of amazing memories of doing that show with you guys. <clears throat> Dan, Murph. Man, amazing. Bringing in Chad, bringing in Dave, all the amazing guests. And I am just loving the dynamics of the show with Keeper Bridget. Wow, such a great show. And the listeners are amazing. It, they they totally make the show worth it. What a great community. And I am humbled and honored to have been a host of the MUP show. And, uh, and just, you know, part of this community. I think it's amazing. Oh, John. My fondest memories <laughs> of the MUP. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, actually, I, I think it Hello, is John. just the camaraderie. We love you, with John. The guys, and I. Every time I think about MUP, my mind always goes to the games that we played together. Hmm. Games where Dan was running, games that I was running. You know, and just you know, as with so many games that we all you know have and share, you get these these touch points, these cornerstones of, of, uh, of memory. Uh, and it just, it makes playing Call of Cthulhu uh, so much, so much more, you know, it just brings so much to your life. Uh, and I will never forget. And, and I always look forward to opportunities to play Call of Cthulhu with Brian and Chad and Dave and, See if we can get Dan to come out and play again. And, Brian, you know, who's I Brian? I love playing with Keeper Bridget. So I know, right? Yeah, MUP and playing games. That that's what I love the most. Well, congratulations, guys, on hitting 250 episodes. It is awesome, uh, and I will always be there to keep listening. Thanks, John. That's sweet of you. So. Oh, John. Go pods. Hey. <laughs> um, this next one is from uh, Keeper Chad. Hi, oh, Keeper the Chad here. First of all, I can't believe it's been 250 years. <laughs> I remember the beginning like it was barely a decade ago. The ice truck still ambled up and down Main Street. You could still buy a ton of coal for a hay penny and a Flemish groat. Every morning, you put pine tar on your gristle porridge sprinkled with flies and pretend it was the finest suckling boar boiled in maple syrup. The past, am I right? 
I think it's a simulation, if you want me to be perfectly honest. Well, heavily edited in any case. Hmm, Sester Centennial. <laughs> More like Fester Cures Ennial, right? More like Sasquatch Fennel. More like Exter Terrestrial. More like Succinct Sand Flea. More like Sequent Nasturtium. And I'm spent. Hey, okay. Cheers to Dan, Original Captain, Firestarter, Instigator, Danger Illustrated. Miss you, old friend. A toast to John, steadfast and stalwart, creator and residence, collaborator, and GM extraordinaire. And Murph, sibling rival, cheeky bastard, kindred problem child, Texan yeti, co-conspirator. Miss you, man. A big salute to each of you for all that damned work we did together. And to Dave and Bridget, now both treasured friends in their own right who have added so much to the community and are taking the show where it needs to go. I'm in shock and awe of both of you. Audio editors, I see you. Thank you for keeping the show afloat. And to listeners who became friends in the future, present, and in the past, thank you. And Funglui Mungluinoff, Cthulhu Rilia, Wagonaglafetagen. I happen to know that I was late getting this message to the crew by showtime, so I'll go ahead and guess that they pre-recorded some fake reaction to my message just for laughs. So for my sign-off, I'm just going to try a little something like this. Go to hell. You go to hell. You go to hell right now. <laughs> Thanks, Cheap Keeper Chad. That was very nice of you. Yeah, awesome. Oh, Chad. Thanks, babe. Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, and then last but not least, it's our our, our founding a member, the uh, the guy who made all of this happen. Uh, I pulled him out of retirement just to get a, an audio missive from him. Uh, here's uh, Keeper Dan. Okay, everybody. It's time to roll sand. This is Keeper Dan. Hello. Hello again. It has been a very long time. And for this special episode, Murph asked me to record something and uh, share some thoughts with you guys for episode 250. Wow. The very notion that this show would still be going so long after we began is just absolutely astonishing to me. I've said on the show before me too. <laughs> was that one of my personal definitions of success is to create something that goes on past you. And hmm. this has absolutely been a resounding success. I'm hoping that it'll continue evolving and changing. And while I, I adore our current crew of hosts, Bridget and Dave and, and Murph, of course, I hope that other people move in over time. When somebody yeah. needs to move on, somebody else will move in and you, take their place. And the behind-the-scenes <laughs> crew will rotate in and out, and people can build their skills and do whatever they want to do to contribute to this community. The Miskatonic University podcast is one of those things that I am so very deeply proud of, and that comes down to you guys. The people that have enjoyed it and supported it and continued to listen and then volunteer your time to help it to maintain the website or editing any of that anything that you guys have done have been a monumental part of what makes this special i got the wheels turning but you guys are the momentum and i am so deeply proud and excited for what's to come in the future and i will always think of this as being one of those great successes i love y'all and just want to say keep doing what you're doing and it's it's special to have something like this that you know you had a hand in we had an amazing crew getting things rolling and an absolutely amazing time during the period when I was here and it's just continuing and it just makes me happy. 
So, enough stupid blubbering from me. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Be good to each other. And go pods. Class is dismissed. Thanks, Dan. That's so sweet of you. Damn some Wow. He's just such a sweet guy. I love Dan to death. Talk about a mic drop closer. Jesus, Dan. That was that was wow. Thank you. Did he was he was he talking about your retirement, Murph? He's already he's spinning that up. Yeah, he was. He was talking about my retirement. Uh and uh, you know, let's be honest, it's it's, it's not far off. <laughs> I've been doing this too long. <laughs> you bet not, you fucker. You don't know. You don't know anything else. You, the, we've we've now lo- locked you into the rock star or professional athlete who's trying to retire. Thing of you don't have any other skills, my friend. I'm sorry. You oh have, wow! You don't. This is what you're good at. Huh. This is what you'd have. You you, you are hurt. good at this. And <laughs> what else are you going to do? Go start another podcast? No. You're with us. You're one of us. <laughs> We're one with you. I will always be with you. Yes. <laughs> that like sounded force. creepy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I, no, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Phew. <laughs> Phew. I'm just talking uh, shit. I love you both. Yeah. It's nice to I, hear your voices. Yeah. Again. It's it's our turn now. You know. And uh, yeah. I, I don't. I, we haven't planned any of this shit. I I know we have. Like, so what does two fifty mean for you? Um. I don't know what Bridget, how does it, I know you, you're the shortest running guest here. So yeah, I'm the baby. Yeah. You're the baby of the group. So I, we kind of sprung it on you and tricked you into joining and it worked. And we were, <laughs> that I shit know, was right? well executed too. We, we were really surprised <laughs> it came off as well as it did. <laughs> but uh, when we're motivated, we can plan like a motherfucker. <laughs> And we knew we wanted to get you, and we got you, and uh, we've never looked back. And you're just an amazing addition to the crew, and just an absolutely joy of a human being to have around. And I, you know, I can't be any more thankful uh, to have you in the crew. But I do want to know, like, what do you enjoy about it? I love you guys so much. Um, can I share the story? The It wasn't a bait and switch, but I definitely got entrapped lovingly. Can I share that story? Please do. I don't give a shit. Yeah, please. So, I, I'm rather proud of it, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Much like you well, joining the Calyx, it's stayed. up there in the high echelon of things I've accomplished in the last <laughs> couple of years. But only because she stayed. Because if she bailed, we would. I would We'd have shamed you to death. Act like so. it didn't happen or shamed them to death. So, um Mupp was looking for voices in the community, uh, particularly diverse voices to bring in, you know, uh, to talk about horror. And I was referred to, <laughs> I was <laughs> referred to Mupp by Keeper Chat. Uh, Chad and I have bumped into each other, overlapped. He's a fan of Symphony. So, you know, we kind of connected there. And I had the whole, you know, email exchange with the group. It was like, hey, do you want to come on as a guest and you can talk about Symphony or your article in Gnome Stew or blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I had never been on a podcast before and I had never listened to this podcast before. So I got real insecure and my anxiety like shot from like maybe a, a hovering six to like a 12. So I canceled on them like the day before the recording. I think that's right. And that about right, guys. Then I canceled on you guys like literally the day before the recording or maybe a couple days before. Yeah. There was some weird shit that happened. It's like, hey, uh, I can't do it. Let's try again a different day. Uh, but <laughs> so we cycle back. They were able to reschedule me again uh, and they brought me onto the show. And these are the days when I didn't know what Discord was. I had no idea what a Zencaster link was or whatever uh, software they were using prior to me. And they were like, hey, you know, there's no video. And I was like, okay, thank God. I don't have to put on a bra or do my hair. Uh, it's edited. So, you know, you can say whatever the fuck you want and we'll clean it up later. And I was like, oh, that's a huge relief. And it was like, oh, and here's a, uh, a Google Drive with some show notes. And I was like, well, what are show notes? And it's like, oh, you just read the copy. And I was like, well, what's copy? And it was like, oh, just read the shit that says your name by it. And it'll be fine. <laughs> I thought this was normal because mind you, I had never listened to this podcast before. So we're going through the show notes. And if you go back and listen to episode, I think it's 223. I'm reading copy, like doing intros and talking about backers and uh, Patreon tiers and whatever the fuck. So we go through the whole thing. We have the episode. Um, It went well. Thank the Lord. Despite my shitty equipment, despite not knowing what's going on, despite my anxiety be going through the roof. Uh, Dave in particular did a great job of molly coddling me and making me feel safe and welcome. And it's like, hey, you know, you're awesome. You're okay. This is great. You're going to do fine. Uh, That was my first run in with Murph. 
on air. And let me tell you, as much you guys love Murph, imagine going into blind Murphville <laughs> while live recording. <laughs> Strap in, baby. It's a ride. So... <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing, but all right. Oh, we'll oh, it's there. definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing. I, I didn't get a soft exposure to Murph. I didn't get any transitioning or warm up mm, to Murph. I got man. Murph live on air during a recording. So um, the crew reached out to me afterwards and did the, hey, you did great on the show. We would love to bring you on as a co-host. And I'm like, well, what's that mean now? And I had a lot of questions. So what's that mean? What's the time commitment look like? Is it paid? Okay. <laughs> what, what, what would I need to get done? <laughs> That's How often do we record? But, you know, what I had a whole I had a whole lot of questions, and then yeah, after I had a whole of lot of questions, I did the whole I'm gonna think about it for 24 hours and cycle back. And I got a lot of hilariously passive aggressive things like, "Okay, so by 24 hours, you mean like 24 hours from right now, or could you just <laughs> could, could you tell us are you leaning, yes or no?" Or I was like, "No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm overwhelmed. I just recorded my first podcast, and now they want me to be a co-host. I don't even know what the fuck that means. What's copy? I don't understand." And so, uh, yeah, I thought about it uh, behind your guys's back. I did shop the ideal around two or three of my friends uh, who were fans of the show uh, and fans of some of the legacy members, um, including Chad. <laughs> I was like, "All right." They're asking me to do this. What does this mean? Should I do it? What do you think? And it was a resounding yes across the board. I had one friend that said, you'd be a dumbass not to do it. Thanks so much, Al. Uh, I had another friend that was just like, Al, we uh, love you, Al. I don't know who you are, but I love you. <laughs> right? I had another friend that was like, uh, yeah, you can think about it if that's the responsible thing that you need to do for your own mental health. But like, this is probably going to be one of the best decisions you could ever make. And then Murph crept right back into my inbox within my 24 <laughs> hours period of consideration mind you it was like i'm not trying to push you one way or the other you can do whatever you want but i do want to tell you right now if you join in on a co-host as a co-host it will skyrocket your brand your gaming visibility and you will never regret it uh because dave and i are awesome and also it will do amazing 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 things for the direction that you're going in the gaming industry and i was like okay and 24 hours later, I agreed, and these hoes have been stuck with me ever since. Damn straight. So what does 250 mean for me? It means that two white guys that I have yet to meet in person right. took a chance on me with no podcast experience, no recording experience. They sent me my first microphone um, and said, hey, we want you to join the family on a like parent level not just like hey come and hang out with us like we really want to spend time with you we want to get to know you we want to love on you and we want to support you not just professionally and personally so what does 250 mean to me 250 means i joined a long legacy line of a community where moments and experiences and laughs and tears like this are completely possible uh because let's be honest it's the humanity of us that makes us absolutely ridiculous and you know easy to listen to. Mm. And we just kind of sugarcoated with weird and horrific role-playing games. But we're really here to make fun of Murph and hear Dave's accents. That shit is what it is. I said it. <laughs> Tally ho and all that. <laughs> all them beans. <laughs> so, 250 for me was a launch board because let's be honest, would I have hit the Calyx without Mup? Probably not because she was, Becca Scott was on the uh, the episode and invited me and I forgot. And Murph cycled back. I was like, so you're going to go join the Calyx? I was like, no, she was just joking. And Murph was like, no, the fuck she wasn't. You better contact her. So right. <laughs> um, I owe a lot to Mup. I owe a lot to my, uh, my visibility, uh, my confidence as a podcaster and as a streamer. So much of my technical experience came from you guys. I had a whole hour session, Murph, if you remember this, on how to talk into a goddamn mic. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember because I edited that episode and I was like, yeah, we're going to have to have a conversation. Right, guys. <laughs> Early days, early day. I wish I could tell you so many of the sexual innuendos that probably got dropped to the editing room floor about how I'm supposed to be up on a mic uh, yeah. and how I'm supposed to talk. And so many conversations with Dave where it's like, did I do OK? Is that OK? Yeah, babe, you're fine. You are fine. You are OK. We love you for who you are. Yeah, we you're OK. You're safe. It's fine. By the way, come play a game with me. Join my campaign. I really yeah. enjoy spending time with you. And by the way, how are you doing personally? So 250 for me was joining a family. And I mean that from the most sincerest place because you guys have literally brought me from infanthood um, all the way to like adolescence running, crawling uh, because of my experience and my training with you guys. We love you so much. I love you guys so much. Y'all are everything to me. I appreciate y'all. 
and I, and just to reflect a little bit, I mean, after you finished your episode, you know, Murph and I, he was like, dude, don't scare her. <laughs> I was like, I, was like dude, I gotta go all in on this woman. I, I gotta go. Like, he's like, no, 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 just give it. We just, just hold back, man. Just relax. <laughs> so, so there was that. And then once, and then once the episode dropped, I, I mean, I literally had people pinging me, and they were like, "If you don't fucking wrangle her in for the show, this is." They didn't know anything that was happening. All they had heard is just the regular interview. And they were like, yeah. if you don't get her for the show, I, I don't know if I can be your friend again. Oh, God. <laughs> that was what it was. It was so obvious. It was so obvious. They were like, you have to have, please do whatever you can to, to get her under the show. Multiple people. Repeatedly. <laughs> was, Repeatedly. Thank you, listeners. Win. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, hosts. I love you guys. And I'm so happy to be here. Dave? Dave? Uh, yeah, I just went look back and I um I knew this, but I was just actually went and looked at episode 109 from October 2nd, 2016. Almost 109, six years ago, 190. Years. 109. Staring oh, at the Oh, 109 sunspots. was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. So 190 I didn't know that they were also 190 and 190 109 and 190. So 109 was my first episode Coming on and talking about sunspots. Sunspots, yeah. That was ages ago. Yeah, five and a half years ago. Hey, and we did an RPG CV failed, uh, you know, shelved shelved podcast of Murph as well around Mm -hmm. that same period. We did. And and that was great, but I had some personal shit to sort out. And Mm. so went out and sorted all that personal shit out. Um, And um, I made friends with all of you guys with with john and and murph and chad and this was before discord really i mean ysdc a bit i don't know where i don't know how we were really communicating Uh, email (laughs) right (laughs) we were doing email man it was all email uh, email and and text messages oddly enough because you you were a mofo for text messaging yes i love text messaging i um, (laughs) wait yes I, and then I met Chad, haven't met John or Murph yet, but I met Chad in New York in 2018, 2019, 2019, and hung out with Chad in New York. That was great. And then it was one of those things where we had moved and I had like wanted I'm still working on this book that I'm still working on, right? And it's like, <laughs> it's encompassed everything of my, of my publishing career. So there's, you know, I, I had expected to be more like do writing more and doing more. And, and I, this thing has just been around me and it's like, I wanted, I always wanted to be in radio. I got a face for radio. No, I always wanted to be in radio. I've um, got a face for radio. And I love interviewing people and I wanted to do something else that was more active. And like, as I'm thinking about that, Chad, you know, Chad was like, ah, I gotta, I gotta go. And I, that was it. I, I, and it was, it was destiny. And I've told the story. I guess we've got some new, new listeners. I don't want to make everybody cry. So I'll, I'll tell an abbreviated version of it. Um, you know, what does MUP 250 mean for me? Uh, in the summer of 2017, I, my family and I moved from the Silicon Valley to Sacramento, California. It was a very big experience. I was driving back from Sacramento to, to Silicon Valley, uh, commuting because I had a, I still had some consulting work there. And so I was making that, it was a three hour drive and, and, you know, going and, and couch surfing. But more importantly, my father was dying from cancer. And mm. I was doing a crazy triangle of driving from getting up at four o'clock in the morning and driving from Sacramento to Silicon Valley and then going and spending the week couch surfing and then going up to San Francisco to, to be with my, my father. And so obviously that was just huge and it was very, very stressful. And I went and downloaded a hundred episodes of MUP. Wow. And maybe it was more like 80. It was like three years uh, worth. And that's what I listened to. And I didn't even have a Bluetooth. I was using, <laughs> driving my 98 Camry, which had a tape deck and a CD player. Um, and I didn't have noise reduction headphones. So I was blasting my iPhone strapped to my Camry dashboard, like at full volume blasting. 
Wow. And I, wow. and that was it. That was what I did was I listened to all, I listened to years and years of MUP and yelled. And every time you guys would get something wrong, I would be <laughs> yelling at the, no, you stupid. It's this movie. No, the reference is wrong. And, uh, and that, and that was it. And, and I was an MUP fan for life. So that's, that's when I look at MUP's legacy. And just like Dan was talking about how, you know, it's a thing of its own. So it's bigger than me. And, and, and that's how it's bigger than me. It had a huge impact on my life before I was here. Um, it's really, really important to me. Uh, so it's, it's great. And then I got to be friends with Murph and, and then Bridget came along. Um, I got to be friends with John as well, you know, and, and then now we have this thing like MUP 250 means like, just like Dan was saying, like, there's momentum. There's, there's a huge community. I have role played more games in the last three years since pandemic than I have, I think in the rest of my life combined, like, honestly, wow. like, honestly, yeah. I, th I think I really yeah. have, like, I, I'm, I'm role playing multiple times every single week now. And it's with like 90% of that's with the community. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Um, so it's, it, it, it's an amazing community and there's just so much love and, that's what that's what this means to me is 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 legacy and you know forward and just all those great things that people just came out and said like all those yeah. people they're all beautiful people and and they see it as well so i get to be a part of that it's it's not mine it's ours and it's the communities so well stated dave and i freaking love you yeah i love you man you're yeah, love you a both. fantastic human being dude honestly you're one of the nicest men i've ever met in my entire life and I cannot imagine being doing this crap without you because a lot of times you are the calming, the calming voice. It's funny oh, how God. before <laughs> I know before he mentioned something that like Dave gets up in a whirl about things and and I'll bring him down, but I'll do the same thing and Dave will bring me down or Bridget will bring me down. And we just kind of coexist like that. And it's a really beautiful thing. Yeah, agreed. Also, Dave, you're such a good balance to Murph and I's hyper asses. Oh yeah, oh, it's just crazy because I'm a total spaz. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I'm also you know, half asleep most of the time when we record. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're literally gonna, like the volume to our Red Bull. I can't believe I'm gonna finally meet you two in like six weeks. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Fucking finally, it's gonna be so good. Not just you guys, but y'all are gonna everybody, get to meet everybody. The vast majority everybody. of our community will yeah. be there. It's it's just gonna be fantastic. You guys yeah, cannot wait for about Necronomicon. Guys. It might be too late, but you should show up anyway, dear listener. You should really just show up. Yeah, yeah. Because what about it's you, gonna... Murph? Oh God, ten um, years, man. Yeah, man, ten years. This this podcast honestly has seen me through crap, <laughs> like um, the dissolution of my marriage, uh, mm -hmm. the severe fucking depression and mental illness that hit after that, and. Uh, it's gotten me through health scares where I learned I'm allergic to sugar. Go figure. Uh, I had ulcers, you know, all of this crazy shit, uh, abusive spouses, new husbands, ex-wife's abusive new husband, you know, that scared the shit out of me on the daily for two years. You know, my whole, the major, a good chunk of my adult life is, is, is tied to this show and yeah. uh it's really when chad left you know dan left and then chad left and i thought about we thought about just honestly just folding shop and just and just letting it go sure and just being that that's that 200 would be it or you know one you know, i think it was 175 or something would have been it and that would have been done um but you know i just couldn't do it the, the more the more I think about leaving, you know, anytime I think about leaving, it's so important to me, like my entire mental health and mm -hmm. my, my life and my friends and my hobbies and my endeavors, they're all wrapped up in this community and this show. And every time I think about leaving, I'm thinking like, God damn, I can't do that. And, and just like June, I was gone for a month. I'm gone for the majority of every, everybody knows this. If you listen, June, I've just disappeared. Yep. But when I came back, you know, I'm, I just, I'm itching to get back every time. Like I, 
you know, it's nice to not have to do the podcast thing and it makes a really good break for mm-hmm. me every year. But at the same time, it's like, I, I really miss doing this on the regular and it, it drives me nuts until we get recording and just doing what we're doing now. It just, it's really important to me on a personal level. I really enjoy the both of you. You're just wonderfully beautiful, amazing people. Bridget, we knew you were right for the job as soon as you opened your mouth. I uh, heard exactly <laughs> what we were after. Hashtag facts. Hashtag, Hashtag facts. facts right? <laughs> Contender for the episode title. Yeah, for real. Dave bribed me with Banks novels. And <laughs> I did. He, I did. I just, I'm I, not going to lie. Like that no, motherfucker. Both him, and, him, both him and John, I just sent him a, when I purged all that stuff when we move, I was like, you know who I'm going to send a bunch of stuff to? I, I literally <laughs> sent a ton of stuff to John and Murph. And then it was like, oh, hey, can I be on your podcast? And they're like, yeah, you're great. We love you. <laughs> you got any more free stuff? <laughs> but just that, not let lying. that be a note. Yeah, yeah. I'm not lying. Let He's that be a lying. note if you want to be on this podcast. <laughs> Just but don't, but don't see any novels unless it's succession because I've got the rest. I'm good now. Oh um, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, no, Dave, we, that wasn't the deciding factor for Dave. As many of you know, Dave is a perfect counterbalance to what we have now. Yeah. Absolutely amazing individual. I know he says he's a spaz. I can completely and utterly think he's full of shit. He is the most Wait, calm, you guys see me level, at 10 a.m. Just 10 a.m. Fully even caffeinated. voiced man that I've fully ever met. Uh, we used to joke about Dave and his questions. Uh, <laughs> um, can I tell you this story? I'm going to tell it anyway. Yeah, Dave, you know, whatever, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I might edit that shit out. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to edit it. I got thick uh, skin. Dave, Dave, Dave early on had issues with 10 minute questions. Oh yeah. The questions. Oh yeah. yeah no, absolutely. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, he you want would me to, ask, you want me to ask you a 10 minute question right now? Oh my God, dude. No, oh my God. <laughs> no. Uh, now Dave's gotten much, much better. Occasionally he'll slip and we'll have hey, like a five right. minute question out of him. But for the most part, his questions are fairly short and succinct. I take all of the credit for that. That's good. You're, no, you know, you, I'm, you, I mean, whatever forever whatever you'd help bridget you helped me absolutely as a podcaster mm-hmm. absolutely 100 percent, man you're a pro and uh I, i've learned so much here honestly like it's it's been a fucking great journey uh, i really really appreciate all of i mean because the fact is that uh, i mean we're getting better now but you still have you have held this podcast to on your back for, for years. sure the glue yeah Four years, like just literally like, oh, you know, the, the email accounts and the Zencaster account, all the accounts, all the money, all, and then the production and then the editing and all that stuff is you. So that, I mean, we're working I mean, to pull not, some well, of that okay, stuff it's off. not, it's not all me. I don't want to, I don't want to sell anybody short, especially our editors who are fantastically yes. amazing. Sean, Edwin, and Max, you guys are honestly the rock that makes this shit go because if Absolutely. you guys were not editing, I oh, have to do us. I'd have to do every episode and that would make me want to quit. Yeah. <laughs> like no. like a, we came close. The closest I ever came was when I had to edit like seven oh, episodes in a seven row. Seven in a row. Yeah. And I was, I was done. Murph was strung out guys. I was finished. Murph was like all editing and no play. I'm about to burn this whole podcast out. Yeah. I was done. So, I mean, without those three guys, honestly, that it would not, uh, it, we would not be here. And thankfully, and you'll get to meet him at Necronomicon. Oh, I can't um, wait. Max is just Max is just Max the is great. S- sweetest They're man. I, he's really a, he's just a, a dear friend that I I just absolutely love. I met him at Gen Con in 2014, and we just went from there. Edwin and Sean are just amazing. Edwin has got to be one of the most intelligent men I've ever met. Sean's really far up there. All three of them are they're just stupid smart. They make me feel dumb, uh, and the fact that they do this for us is it's just amazing. It, it boggles my mind every time and I've never taken it for granted. And I hope they realize that, but yeah, this show would not happen without them either. Absolutely. You know, it's totally true. We are editors having edited a few shows myself. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real work. Yeah. Yeah. It's real work. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks editors. Yeah. It's really, real work. really mean it. We and appreciate those guys, you guys. Those guys, you. I, I mean, we pay them something, but we don't pay them near enough for what they do. And most of them don't give a shit. They don't want to, they just want to help. And, you know, you can't, I I can't find that kind of dedication from normal people. You know what I mean? So I thank you guys. You guys are just fantastic. 
So yeah, 250. Fucking great. Nice work, everybody. Yeah, congratulations, guys. Uh, you know what's funny? As in, I think this Friday? So the, by the time this drops, we'll all know. Okay. But on the 8th, on the 8th or the 10th, I think it's the 8th. On the 8th are the shortlist nominations for the Innie Awards. Oh, oh fingers God. crossed, guys. Jesus. Jesus. And I'll be honest, you guys really do deserve it. I, I don't know who else is in the run. Well, I know who's in the running because they've announced all of them. They're on the website. You can go to their list and see and sort by podcast and you see all the other ones on there. Yeah, everybody's in the running now. Yeah, there's a lot of them in there. But you guys are amazing. And I, I really hope that we get shortlisted. So here's either congratulations or, you know, we better look next time. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Congrats, Mom. Either way. You're, you're I mean, not you, any you should, have, you should have won nominated. anyway. No, we'll, we'll send out a little uh, special bulletin if we get nominated for sure. Oh, oh we'll be loud yeah. as shit about it I, if, listen, we get nominated. if we get nominated. I'm going to be super excited because honestly, you guys, you, I don't think you understand. I, and we're not very popular overall in the potosphere or whatever, but the quality of our show just on content and how happy it makes people feel yeah. is really, really good. And yeah. I think yeah. if the judges actually listen to episodes and listen to the reels and, and feel the infectious energy that we have as a trio, just as a group in general, then we have a really good shot of winning an any again. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. You guys d definitely deserve it. And I, you know, I really hope that we get it. We crushed that N world, man. We did a great job. The Ian world last. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the Ian world great. is here. Yeah, January. Yeah, for right? sure. I mean, we were definitely they have more votes than ever for the talk category than the actual play category. Yeah, uh, and that it was, was us. That was and that us. was you, it, dear listeners. That was those that community that was listeners. Yeah, it was that whole community. Some ride or die yeah. people listen <laughs> for real. It was it was us, and it was uh, Mythos Men with John's John's mm -hmm. new podcast. It was one and two, yeah. and that absolutely amazing. And just to show that people out there, you know, that weird and Cthulhu related podcast, gaming podcasts, where people just sit here and talk, it it's still a thing. You know, people yeah. still like that. Yeah. You, the, this community and, and you, dear listener, it's so incredible to be a part of this. It The thing that it sparks for me is the feeling of, you know, like, would you, you know, would you rather have you know, 10,000 people re really sort of like you or, you know, a hundred people love you sort of thing. Right. And our little community is so dedicated and it's not huge and I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't need to be just a massive, I don't need to be this, you know, like some of the mainstream podcasts I've been listening to a, a few of the larger ones and they're really, there's a lot out there. I don't need that. I, the, our listeners are so amazing and our community is so dedicated and so thoughtful and they come to us all the time expressing their gratitude and just their interest of what this whole thing is about because we're about the community as well it's just great this is really really great community you're all you dear listener speaking specifically to you someone listening to this podcast thank you so much i can't believe that i get to be a part of a community like this it's it's all I want actually in life. Like community is now like the thing I'm going to do for the rest of my life is, is be a part of communities like this. And I have never really experienced it until I've been here. So it's just, it's just great. Our listeners are just fan fucking tastic. Thank you. Agreed. hundred percent. And just wait guys, just wait. I know I've talked this up so much, but just wait till Necronomicon. I know you guys. Oh, are I can't wait. I'm so it's going to be so amazing. We're going to have <sighs> such a blast. Everybody there is so sweet. Everybody is so nice. We're going to have a meetup. Uh, I, I guess we could mention that. Uh, the game is, here's the deal, guys. If you're in town on Wednesday, Wednesday evening, we will be uh, all kind of getting together in the back room of a bar, um, um, which we'll, we'll announce it later exactly where. But we'll have dinner and, and drink and everybody gets together. And you'll find out that that's not something rare. It's probably going to happen every single night that we're at Necronomicon with some group of creators coming together and eating together. It's it's like the thing we do. It's just amazing. You guys, you're go, everybody who's going to come is going to have an absolute blast. Well, I show up on Wednesday and I leave on Monday, as was directed by the Murph. That's right, because you're going to be there with me. Mm -hmm. I too should be flying in on Wednesday, but Delta has changed my flight about 
11 30 time so hopefully i'll be there for the con uh hopefully i deal on wednesday but otherwise i might be sleeping over in laguardia you need, i'll go come come to laguardia and pick you up i pond i pond will pick you up as, <laughs> as he's swinging by <laughs> as he's going up and down the coast giving Jesse rides will pick you up you can get a ride with with uh you know who's closer would be oscar oscar's closer to laguardia hey. Hey, Rio, go ahead and swing down and grab me when I get stranded at LaGuardia to get a ride over to Necronomicon. Thanks. You can take my <laughs> luggage down, too. For real, Let right? Let me knock on wood and hope that I have a, a decent flight that's, like, <laughs> not dramatic, but they keep changing my flight. And I'm really nervous about my very short layover now. I planned for two and a half hours. Now they're, like, 40 minutes. I was like, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, no, I just why I don't do layovers anymore. I do fly direct, and I don't have to mess with it. I had one that took me 24 hours to get home. Uh, yep, and ever, negative ghost rider. Yeah, ever since then, I'm like, nope, not happening. No, thank you. I hit four <sighs> airports on the way home from Providence one year. Uh, <laughs> nope, Providence. knock on wood. Maybe I'll get lucky. Some really interesting layover choices, too, that I'll go. I'll tell you about later. But anyway. Yeah. You know, before we wrap this thing up, I, I think we all uh, speak for all of us and just say thank you. Thanks, thanks for 250. Thanks for another 250. Uh, with our tears, with our games, with our Discord, with our pet picks, I hope you sh- I hope it shows how much we are into our listeners and, and the community. So thank you again for everything, dear listener. So we want to hear from our listeners, and we have lots of ways you can reach out to us. For the complete list, you can check out our show notes. That's where you'll find our email address which is, and no one uses, mup.feedback.email.com <laughs> and our link to our Discord server that the vast majority of people use. Um, I, want, I want to start using that, mup.feedback at gmail.com. Um, here's a deal. Uh, first, someone to send an email after listening to this, Murph, you can send me, I will, I will send you all of my drive through RPG uh, products, that first listener. So you to send an email to you. All okay? right. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got you. You heard it here, guys. Yeah, first one it. who emails me first after this five. drops. How about that? Top five. Top five. The top, the top five, first five. people. First, now look. First five people. Yeah. Okay. All right. First five people to send an email to mup.feedback at gmail.com will end up with uh, Dave's drive through RPG catalog, which is, which is pretty cool because that's Sunspots and, and you Laughs Last. last and then, and uh, he Laughs Last. Yeah. Got, got the Keeper Kits and um, a little bit of fiction I wrote, which you know, it was all right. But there you oh, go. There you go. That's sexy. I like that, babe. Mm, start using that email, folks. More coming this way. Yeah. So, um, and then of course you can tell us who you are and give us a hearty G O P O D S G O P O D S. Go for our home team, the fighting cephalopods. Find all the links you need to keep in touch at mu podcast.com or on the Discord channel, episode 250. And please, 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 please. Back us on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash MUP. And just sliding in my last little note too. Right. Yeah. Go get all the new new tiers over all there. All the new tiers Patreon. and all the yeah. new sexiness like movie night and playable content and postcards. And uh, just at the 250 as I'm walking out the door here to everyone who has come before us and to everyone who will come after us. Thank you. From me as well. Thank you all so much for sticking with us for this long. Or if you're new to the journey, welcome aboard. And uh, thanks for joining us for another episode. Class is dismissed. The Call of Cthulhu role-playing game is property of Chaosium, Inc. The written works of H.P. Lovecraft are held in the United States public domain. All other works mentioned in this podcast are the property of their respective owners. Original content of this show is copyright of the Miskatonic University podcast under a Creative Commons attribution non-commercial share-alike license. trips for you little traps i mean little traps and pitfalls for you let's see you have if you have a trap out. and a pitfall for me mm-hmm. I, I guarantee you we'll we'll hit them both because uh we haven't done this in forever why mm-hmm. aren't we recording right now i feel like these would be outtakes you i am you. recording right now oh are you yeah we bad. started a second ago not long ago 18 I seconds apologize. ago uh, apologize um, i turned off my video i'm gonna turn mine off too i guess since uh, bridget never turned hers on I know. so I don't have a bra on, so if you want to see sloppy titties, I'll be happy to turn my camera on. I mean, you don't have to point the camera at your tits, Bridget. You could I mean, just they're like... kind of they're kind of the room. Okay, sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> no, we got that shit recorded, man. All right, yeah. yeah, that's. I'm glad you said record because guess what? Uh, Ron's gonna play with back. that audio for an hour. <laughs> we're so I back. Get, we I get to meet both of you in like six weeks. It's amazing. I know. I know. Isn't that crazy? This shit is bananas, guys. It's bananas, bananas, banana nanas, banana ramas, banana ramas. What? Mm-hmm. Banana Ramos. I don't have the bumper for the uh, intro, so you all just start whenever the fuck. Uh, Bridget starts. Okay, and give me a whole whole second because I don't have my shit together on the pet pick. So sorry. Uh, oh, well, we can just hear bullshit for a little bit longer. Uh, and by bullshit, I mean saying nothing that we want to have to actually restate later, oh, so that editing God. is much simpler. Okay, um, hold on. I'm scrolling up. I got my shit together. All right, here we go. Do we need to do the five seconds of silence? Nope. Okay. It sounded like that was good right there. Go for it. Beautiful.